Hi, I'm Rachel Gable. I'm the assistant editor of the Fence Post Magazine, and this is your Fair Cattle Markets update for the 29th of July. At yesterday's hearing of the Senate Finance Committee uh, on the USMCA trade agreement, members of that committee, as well as lobbyists, called on Trade Representative Catherine Tai to more strictly enforce UN USMCA. They also called on President Biden to nominate an agriculture trade negotiator. I told you yesterday that uh, Senator Wyden, who is the chairman, he's a Democrat from Oregon, had said that it was kind of a cake half baked, uh, the USMCA was, and that there's a number of problems with uh, biotech, ag biotech not being approved by Mexico, uh, Canada blocking dairy products, several things like that. So Senator Mike Crapo, who is a Republican from Idaho, said, and he's also the committee ranking member, said that USMCA included a number of innovations, including Canada allocating a new tariff rate quota for dairy products and Mexico agreeing to protect 33 common cheese names. But he added that Idaho dairy producers face barriers in Canada, while the Mexican Supreme Court ruled recently that potato growers can sell fresh potatoes into Mexico consistent with USMCA obligations. He said, I will not consider the matter finished until Idaho's farmers are able to sell high quality potatoes to every family in Mexico. Crapo said he considers the Biden administration's enforcement efforts uh, fairly disappointing and highlighted Mexico's unwillingness to cooperate on biotech, including approval of biotech food and feed products. Alan Hutma, chairman of the Northwest Dairy Association and a member of the Dairy Gold Board of Directors who testified remotely from Idaho, said Ty's recent initiation of USMCA dispute settlement proceedings over Canada's allocation of dairy tariff rate quotas, TRQs, is a welcome step, but that additional monitoring and enforcement action is needed. Uh, they went on to talk a little bit about uh, the ag negotiator piece. Um, under questioning, do, 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 that, so that ag negotiator position would require Senate confirmation. Um, Senate Ag Chair, Committee Chair Debbie Stabino, Stabino from Michigan and Senator John Thune, Republican from South Dakota, said they agreed that an ag, neg ag negotiator ought to be nominated soon. So, um, of course, witness testimony was very important there. Today, there were also hearings on the cattle market. I have been out of my office all day, so that's what I'm getting ready to settle in and do. And uh, we will have coverage for you, I'm sure, this week. I'm Rachel Gable. This is your Fair Cattle Markets update for the 29th of July.